Have you ever noticed that your video has some type of motion blur or fuzziness in it? Well this is actually a very common thing and it's actually very easy to fix. You can make a video go from this to this in just one simple step. So you have your Sony Vegas open I'm sure and uh, you can follow along to make it easier for you but I'm sure you don't have to. So basically I have my video up here and uh, this is just some video that I recorded you know one day and that's not even important but as you can see there's fuzziness here even part of the car is like coming off here this is fuzzy and it's actually very simple so what you want to do in your timeline you have a video here and you should have audio I deleted the audio because I wanted to show you guys this in motion which isn't very noticeable but when you have a still frame it's very noticeable so let's just play it Okay, I don't know if you noticed, but it was blurry when I hit that car and things like that. So, you know, it's actually noticeable, and it can actually get so bad where people get dizzy. So what you want to do, you want to go to your video, just your video. Do not click on the audio as well, just your video. Right-click and go to Properties. Now I'm going to move this over and show you guys the big change. So right here where it says Smart Resample, you want to go to Disable Resample, and just click OK. Now did you see the big change there? It was actually very very big. I'm actually going to go back and click off of it and go back to Smart Resample and show you guys. Do you see that? I mean that's actually a big big change. And then once again you would right click, go to Properties, and Disable Resample. Now guys, you may have known this and you're looking in this video to try to find, you know, because it is the title of the video, try to find out how to disable resample all the time. Well, it's actually not exactly what you want, but I can disable the resample for all the videos in my timeline by just one simple click. So what you want to do first, you want to go into uh, the description and download the Mediafire link that I provided for you. Then it should be you know wherever you download it and it would be called smart re-render dis uh, ables disablers I don't even know what he was trying to uh, spell there I got this from another guy so uh, you want to go into your file explorer your C drive program files Sony and Vegas Pro 13 or wherever you put it now here you see a folder or wherever you uh, put your Sony Vegas Here's a folder called script menu. You want to click in there and then just drag over your smart uh, re-render disable. Now I already have it so I'm not even going to put it in there. But uh, you can close that out once you put it in there. And go back to Sony Vegas. Now I'm not sure if you have to uh, restart but I'm pretty sure you don't have to. So you want to go to tools here. Scripting. And then you'll see it there. Smart re-render disable. Now what this does, I can put, let me go here and turn back on the smart resample and I'll go here and copy this now just to prove that uh, just to prove that it isn't just the file that I'm copying I'm gonna drag this back and delete okay so I'm gonna show you guys it's on smart resample so basically what you want to do um, you can go you don't even have to highlight you don't have to do anything all you gotta do is go to tools scripting and then smart re-render disable and there it goes every single one of them is disabled now now I'm gonna turn it back on to smart on this one and this middle one here and I'm gonna show you guys that I got it up here as well and all I gotta do is click it because I'm gonna use it in every single video so I'll go back here and as you can see it is disabled so to how to get it up here you wanna go into the uh, empty area here double click okay and here's available toolbar buttons and you want to go and try to find the disable resample as you can see they are in um, alphabetical order so you'll see smart re render disable somewhere down there and I already have mine over here so if I remove it it's going to be right there in the S's of course so all I got to do is add it and then close and then it's going to be right there so anytime you uh, have videos out 
and uh, you're like, oh God, I hate clicking every video and things like that. So all you got to do is when you get done with your video or if you want to try to see it while it's in there, just simply click that. You can use it multiple times. I can click it four or five times and it's still going to be disabled. It doesn't, you know, re disable it or re-enable it if I click it again. It's going to disable it every single time. So, you know, it's actually a very useful feature. If you thought this video was informational or helpful, please hit that like button. It really helps. And uh, as always, be a pal and subscribe.